This is KNVC News. I'm Sharon Thompson. The on-field collapse and emergency medical procedures that saved Buffalo Bills defensive back DeMar Hamlin's life has many sports organizations reviewing their emergency procedures. The same emergency procedures that saved Missouri Valley men's basketball guard, Jace Lance. Lance collapsed early in practice on February 3rd. He initially received CPR from his father, Missouri Valley head basketball coach Chad Lance, and then athletic trainer Rochelle Perkins using an automated external defibrillator or an AD, AED to revive him. Lance was taken to University Hospital in Columbia, where he was stabilized and later released. He told Missouri Valley's Viking Sports Network, support came from everyone everywhere. You know, I never understood how big the basketball world was. And, you know, you play against all these different schools and all these different players. And the amount of messages I got and the prayers and the motivation I had to get through this long week, it, it, was, it, it got me through it. Yeah. It got me through it. Lance is back on the Valley campus. His basketball season is finished. He is undergoing further tests to see if his basketball career can continue. The Missouri Valley Art, the Missouri Valley College Art Department is looking for potential models who aren't afraid to show what they got. The department is looking for anyone on and off campus who is interested in modeling clothes or not so clothed. The art department on Missouri Valley campus is looking for models who are willing to be clothed and or nude. Colleen Smith, who is an art teacher in the art department, says this is open to the Marshall community as well as students. Any, any person, um, doesn't matter as long as they're over 21 and they're comfortable, uh, definitely interested in hiring people from the Marshall community as well. Um, right now we only have students and if there's a student model, they're still um, lightly closed because um, of course we're a small campus, so. <laughs> Smith says it is hard to come by models who are willing to participate. It's kind of an uncommon job that people don't really think about too much. Uh, it's kind of weird to think about just getting paid to stand there either nude or lightly clothed and just have a bunch of people around you drawing. So I think it's an opportunity that doesn't really cross a whole lot of people's minds. Mm -hmm. Those who do choose to model will be paid $20 an hour and will be a part of six sessions total. To be a nude model, nude modeling candidates must be 21 years of age or older to participate. In honor of Black History Month, the Black Student Union organization on campus is hosting events every Monday of the month of February. To kick off Black History Month, BSU hosted Cookies and Kahoot. Cookies and Kahoot was an event where students got the chance to test their black history and cultural knowledge while enjoying cookies, some made by the Black Student Union members. Students played three Kahoots total, and the first place winner of each Kahoot received goodie bags made by Powerhouse Ministry. For the second event of Black History Month, BSU hosted Spades and Spaghetti in the Malcolm Center Bacon Room. This event brought people together for a night of games, food, and laughter. This event featured games like Uno, Spades, and Dominoes. Students also participated in learning new games like Speed and Uno Flip while enjoying refreshments provided by BSU members. The Heart of America Athletic Conference Competitive Cheer and Dance Competition is February 18th, and Missouri Valley's cheer team has won all six heart titles since competitive cheer became an NAIA sport. KNVC's Pedro Santos reports on the Vikings, reports on how the Vikings are working toward the possibility of their seventh consecutive title. Looking forward to conquer their 7th straight conference title, the cheerleading team has been working hard every day to be able to bring this title to the Valley. Coach Nicholas Lutz says the group is strong and he believes that three times our American sophomore Riley Mills and the athletes can do the job. This team is, you know, just, I mean, they're really a great example all around of the culture I've been trying to, to build since I started here. Um, they're, they're motivated, they're positive, but at the same time, they take things seriously. You know, they can come in here and, you know, goof off and have fun, but at the same time, be getting things done and be, you know, working hard and pushing themselves, pushing each other. So, I mean, they've, they've been a, a great group to, to have just all around. This year, yeah, we're hoping to get our seventh consecutive win uh, in the NAIA Conference, or Heart of America Conference. Uh, team's looking great. We're doing great to prepare for that, and we're ready to take on nationals as well. I mean, I think they're a strong group. Their chances are good. Um, 
you know, if I'm being honest, you know, the, the team has had a, a bit of a rough go of it lately. Just, um, you know, with, I mean, some things happening that were unexpected here and there, mainly in terms of, I mean, you know, losing some people. I mean, we've, we, in, in the past several weeks, we've uh, had to either, you know, remove people or had, you know, people who, you know, could no longer compete, what, or, you know, weren't going to finish out this, the rest of the season for one reason or another. Even with while well, the challenges in the way, the team is coming strong to get the conference title. Pedro Santos, KMBC News. The Competitive Cheer and Dance Conference Championship is hosted by Missouri Valley, and all of it is available on the Viking Sports Network. Missouri Valley College held the NPDA and IPDA debate competition on the 11th and 12th. Held across the campus, schools from around the state competed against each other in the LD debates and in the individuals. Contestants also listened to speeches, enjoyed food, and had discussions with other contestants and their peers throughout the day. Missouri Valley's Sydney Carter, Seth Carter, Eva Agoli, Camden Phillips, and Tuma Overa all received awards in their events. Missouri Valley Student Affairs hosted a Super Bowl watch party for students who didn't have access in their rooms. Students were allowed to enjoy refreshments while the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles went head-to-head -head in Super Bowl 57. Pizza and drinks were a part of the refreshments for the, for the game, which Kansas City won 38-35. Self-defense can be in any shape or form from using parts of one's body to using a weapon. KNVC Zaya Harden reports on jiu-jitsu as a form of self-defense. Jiu-jitsu is an art of self-defense where it can be for standing up or ground fight situations, and so many people learn for self-defense. Every bell, every step is set is average for clients per session. Um, it, it always varies, but in the kids' class, we have up to 20, or we'll have you know, a little bit less than that. In the, in the adult class, we'll have nearly, sometimes, you know, our, I'd say our, one of our bigger classes would be 25, but normally have less than that, so like 12 or less, it just always depends. Stevens has been doing jujitsu for a while and was mentored by his professor. Eventually, he wanted to do his own store and mentor kids and adults. Stevens says how Tim playing the jujitsu became a name for the store. Uh, that's just what our professor named it, and that's that's what he goes with. So. Jujitsu is not meant for everyone, but it can help you for any danger that happens to you as a self-defense. Zaire Hart, KNVC News. The next self-defense classes are February 15th and the 22nd from 7 to 8 in the Malcolm Center Multipurpose Room. We Night, a night where students play simulation games competing against friends, took place in the Multipurpose Room located at the Malcolm Center, and a prize was at play. Students played different games, but the prize was only at stake for the bowling tournament winner. In order to get in the running, students had to write their name down on the sign-in sheet and wait for a chance to show their bowling skills. The format was four people inside four brackets, so 60 students were playing for a $25 Amazon gift card. After the tournament, the students were free to play on their own. And that's KNVC News for this week. The next show is scheduled for February 28th. I'm Sharon Thompson. Thanks for watching.